Hey everyone, Wazoo here. Have you ever wanted to build a Java Spring Boot REST controller in under five-ish minutes? Then this is the video for you. This is gonna be great. Let's get going. Hello everyone, here we are at start.spring.io. This is the first stop place for generating a Java Spring Boot project. It's pretty much the best place to go when you wanna create a new project, so let's get going. First, we're gonna be selecting a Maven project. We're gonna be choosing Java language. And uh, for, this, for this video, I'm gonna be using version 2.6.7, but feel free to choose the latest version, maybe three, once it gets out of the um, release candidate stage. So for project metadata, let's just go ahead and should have two dependencies listed here. Go ahead and click that generate button. Okay, after the file finishes downloading the zip file, then just uh, extract it to anywhere on your hard drive. Okay, so I've opened up the project in Visual Studio Code and let's get this. All right, so we've got our project set up here. We've got uh, in the root of the folder, we've got our M MVNW uh, command, which is sort of a wrapper around the Maven Maven command line service, uh, which Java Spring Boot relies on uh, since we created a Maven project. Uh, we've got the POM XML file, which is sort of the, um, if you're familiar with JavaScript framework projects, then the POM XML framework, the POM XML is the equivalent to like a package.json file. Uh, it contains dependencies that your Spring Boot project needs, as well as any uh, build uh, or execute tasks or even for running tests. So we're going to go right ahead into the source uh, main folder Java, and you'll see that we have gate. We've got a sub subfolders of com wasui Spring Boot first controller. So within that Spring Boot first controller folder, let's go ahead and create another folder and just call it controllers. And then within controllers, create a new file and let's just call it. You know what? Let's just call it hello controller. Okay, so we are now in hellocontroller.java. Yes. Hello controller. And let's go ahead and oh, let's make this a little bit, a little bit bigger so you can see it. Let's go ahead and call this a use the annotation of a REST controller. Okay. And okay. And first, we're going to have to declare, make sure that's set up correctly. Okay. Uh, and then what we're going to do within the public class of Hello Controller, we are going to uh, declare a get mapping. And value equals slash. And then a public string. A hello. A hello function. And all we're going to do is return hello. This is my controller. Okay. Let's fix up this import here. Make sure we're including the right imports. All right. Save that file. And I'm using the Spring Boot. Uh, utilities extension. I'll create another video to go through extensions that I've got for Visual Studio Code, but uh, this one gives you a dashboard within Visual Studio Code that you can use to start and stop your service. Okay, so we've got our application up and running. It is now on port 8080. Let's go ahead and 
go ahead and open that up in a browser. Localhost 8080. And we should see, hello, this is my controller. Well, in this video, I'll put, the, I'll put a link to the code down below, but in this video, we put together your first hello controller, which then just returns some string out to the browser when we hit our uh, Java Spring Boot application. I had a good time with this one. Hope you had a lot of fun. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's do some more Java Spring Boot. All right, thanks everyone. Peace.